everyone, my name is Carlos Moreira. I'm the lead developer of interactive GeoMaps, a WordPress plugin to create maps like the one you're seeing on the screen. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create JSON to automatically populate the maps. So I'm recording this in June 2020. Um, we're in the middle of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. So this is actually a map using data for confirmed cases for the new coronavirus and um, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can use a JSON with this kind of data and uh, I'm gonna so it's here I just got the this is one of the many API's available and this is the JSON file and I'm gonna show you another example um, this is using the the WordPress REST API to get the, the WordPress events on the US. So this is the link that I'm using. So this is actually to, I'm going to show you how you can create markers using a JSON. So this has latitude and longitude. So it's going to be one specific place. And this other example, it's going to be to populate uh, you know countries. Okay, so this is done using the interactive GeoMaps. There's going to be a link below on the description if you're not using it yet and here we see the the example I created just that we just we just saw and I'm gonna recreate it again so you see how to do it so uh, world COVID-19 numbers okay so map to display, we're going to display the world map, it's fine, we don't need to change anything here, we're going to go straight to regions, we're not going to add manually the regions, we want to populate the, con the countries automatically using other data sources, so I'm going to enable this, source of data, JSON data. Okay, so now we have a couple of options raw JSON data. So we could copy paste all the JSON into into this field, but that's not what we, what we want if probably the, the JSON URL is going to update automatically. So uh, we can actually use copy the URL and place it here. The plugin will fetch it's, it's gonna it has a ca caching system also, but it will fetch the, the data, save it for some time and display it. So this way, you know, we, if, if the data updates, the map will uh, update also. Okay, so we put the URL here. So the next option is JSON ID property. So this is usually for regions. We need it to be or the name of the country or the two letter code. It has to match you know, the, the list of available regions here on the right. So if we go back to the JSON, we see actually that there's a a property here it's called country code and in includes the two letter code so I'm gonna use this country code country code so JSON next uh, item JSON data source property so this is important um, this is the case where the the data is not straight on the the main uh, JSON. So if I'm gonna close, so I first of all I, I see this uh, all with the tree and open and close because I have a, a Chrome add-on to to see it this way. Usually the the JSON file would display like this or just a bunch of code, but uh, this allows me to you know navigate and understand the structure better. So this is the main structure of the JSON file. And the data we want actually is inside countries. It's not straight away available in the first level. So we want to tell the plugin that to search for the entries, which needs to be an array of objects. If you're a programmer, you'll understand what I'm saying. Um, if not, you know, just follow the instructions. It should uh, make some sense to you. Mm. So we're gonna say that the data source is the country's property. So actually when it also searches for, for the ID, it's gonna go to countries and then country code. So from now on, it's gonna know that the data is inside the country's uh, property. 
Okay, so I'm gonna see. Okay, so it's already reading something. We didn't recognize here, but probably they don't have data for Greenland. I'm gonna publish just to make sure I don't lose anything. And but we want to replicate. We want to create a heat map, a uh, coral plate map. So the way to do that, still on the regions tab. Actually, I'm going to change already here the over color to red because we're going to use red soon. Um, we go down here to the heat map option. We're going to enable it. Um, there's two options, but we're going to use the gradient one. And we're going to use uh, shades of red. So for the minimum, we're going to lower a bit. You could you select whatever. It just there's only a message you're saying not to use uh, transparent colors so another important bit source field id so for the plugin to create the heat map it needs a property with a numeric value so it calculates the colors so let's go back to our json file and it could be any of these with the numbers let's i'm going to use a total confirmed Okay, so that's how we tell the map that what to, which field to consider, which property. So let's see the preview, see if the map update updates correctly. Okay, we have some shades of red. You know, it's really dark here in the U.S. It's darker also in Brazil and Russia. But you know, the tooltip just shows the tool area code. It's not really telling us anything. So the final step for this example, we're gonna, we could do this the following thing on the tooltip options, but I'm gonna do it here on the regions tab down here, tooltip template. So here you can use, you know, just write, and then when you want to fetch, when you, when you want to display something that it's on the JSON file in the JSON object, you use these curly braces. So I'm gonna country country and it's gonna sorry it's gonna fetch fetch the information here and then I'm gonna use total confirmed again and, uh, and since this accepts HTML I'm gonna do a line break and then confirm then again the curly braces to fetch and uh, the total confirmed number okay so let's see now the, the preview okay so now we have the data coming from the json file it's populating everything and uh, yeah that's basically it of course there's more um, things to understand but overall this is how the json um, can populate your map so i'm going to create an, uh, another example this time for markers Gonna add new map here. US uh, WordPress events. So I'm gonna select the US only. I'm gonna select here this one, the recommended one, and I'm gonna change the projection as instructed here. Okay. So we have the US map. Now we're gonna go to run markers. It's very similar to what we did before. We come here to other data sources, enable, select the JSON da data, and I'm gonna copy this URL here, which shows us uh, WordPress events in the US, because I um, search for U US events only. I've considered I'm uh, recording this on June 2020 uh, there are not many events happening most of them are online because of the current pandemic so some of these coordinates are not really for the US they're just default coordinates so they're not going to display on the map uh, but still it should give you an idea of what's possible to do okay so we're going to put the URL here so first it asks JSON data source property just like before 
so we don't have the events immediately inside you know the first level it's actually inside events so we're gonna add events here json json id property so in the regions we need to use the two letter code or the country code here it just needs to be a unique identifier so each sorry it's this one uh they don't have any numeric unique id so maybe i'll use uh maybe the title is going to be unique although it, it would be better if it was a you know numeric id or something but it's going to work in, the, in our case so title confirm its title yes and then the json latitude and the long, longitude properties so latitude and longitude it would seem it's correct but if we take a closer look here actually so we're inside events and then actually the latitude and longitude are inside location so if we leave just latitude and longitude the plugin is going to search for that year on the first level but and it's not going to see latitude and longitude because they're inside location so here we use the uh, dot notation which is basically we do this so we say it's location then latitude so we use the dot just to you know uh, say that it's a different level so first level is location and then latitude the same here okay so this should be enough to okay we have three three since we already used the the title as the ID it automatically displays we can also just like we did for the regions come down here and actually spe specify so title then line break and then I think there's a date so let me confirm date okay of course it's not formatted but just for the purpose of this demo title and then the line break date let's see okay that's it so hopefully you got an idea about the JSON files that can populate your map so it's done through the other data sources option you get to select the JSON data put the URL here and then fill up the fields uh, the way it's necessary so the plugin knows where to find uh, the data to populate the map um, there's another video on my channel about how to use a Google spreadsheet to populate the map. I also go into JSON a bit more deeply because the JSON generated by the Google spreadsheet is a bit more complex. Uh, so if this video, if you still have questions after this video, maybe you could watch the other one. It's, it's also helpful. But if you still have questions, feel free to write me, uh, leave a comment below or visit the official website for further documentation. Um, hope the video was helpful. Cheers.